A blower door test is also known as like an air leakage test. And the purpose of a blower door test, depending on what state you live in, they may or may not require it, but if you've heard the term blower door test or air leakage test, it essentially is just a test to determine like how much air penetrates through all the little cracks and crevices and openings in your house. <laughs> Like how much heat loss or cooling, you know, for your AC, do you lose through those cracks and crevices that you then have to then pay to reheat or recool? So that's that's kind of the, the purpose of the test. Now, depending on where you're at, um, there's different requirements of how tight that house has to be or that residence or, or townhouse or whatever it is you're building. Um, and so depending on where you're at, there can be requirements for how many air changes per hour you have to have. And uh, the baseline, um, I live in Washington state and so we do have some pretty strict energy requirements here. And um, for the baseline for most years has been five, five air changes per hour. You have to be under that, right? So the test has to show that you're under that five air changes per hour. Um, in recent years, they've also added in more energy requirements and depending on what you choose you may have to have three air changes per hour and that's pretty hard to hit if you think about it you're like oh well there's no cracks or holes in my house like I, i'm good to go but there actually there's a lot more air movement than you might think in your house you think about every electrical box that's in your exterior wall every time that wire goes through there's that little itty bitty hole so air goes behind your plate and through that um, where your bottom plates uh, connect to your floor system, uh, where your trusses connect to your uh, top plate, where your windows, um, you might have fans, duct that goes outside that may not be perfectly sealed, that's losing air. There are all types of different places that you can lose air through your house. And especially if you have a crawl space, you think about every time they drill a hole to run a wire or a pipe down into the crawl space if that hole doesn't get sealed with like foam or something it's losing air and so i can't tell you whether or not it's good or bad i'm uh, just more telling you kind of what it is and uh what the requirements kind of are to to, to get to that point and, and maybe some tips on how to pass it and so usually what they do is they come in with a, um, a blower door test kit and they just put a big fan in your door. So uh, any exterior door you have, usually it's your front door. They get come and they, you know, open the door and they set this fan right in the, in the doorway and they kind of block it off with a screen and then they turn it on. And you can go in to your house and I've been in it when they've been running them and you can shut different doors to rooms and you put your hand down kind of at the bottom of the door kind of where the gap is and you can feel air like rushing through that un underside of that door and some of them are more than others well the ones that have a lot that means you have more holes in there because it has to pull the air from somewhere right and uh, so when that fan's running it's sucking air from all the different cracks and crevices in your house and in order to meet whatever requirement you might have out there um, you know, if you're not passing it right off the get go, some of the things that we've done when I was a superintendent in the house building world, we would, um, walk around with a can of foam spray and a tube of caulk, and you would just kind of walk around while that fan is running and you can find spots where you might find an outlet that's just pulling air, right? So you could pull that off. You might have a can light that's just sucking air so you could, you know, maybe seal that can around the drywall a little better. Um, underneath sinks, you know, where the pipe goes into the wall, maybe they that can be caulked or foam sprayed. You lose a lot of air there. Um, in a crawl space situation where you have the ducts in the floor, uh, the grill, you pour the, pull the grill up, but the actual duct connection to the floor system has all kinds of little openings in it and you're losing a bunch of air there as well. So you just kind of walk around the house and you just find all those places that are really sucking air and you try to fill them. I mean, that's really the baseline of it until you hit the requirement that's that your state or city is asking for. Like I said, five is kind of the baseline where we're at and people have gotten to the point where it's pretty easy to hit that. Um, we usually don't have too many issues when I'm out doing inspections now. You know, we ask for the blower door test and we verify that it meets the requirement. 
And I usually don't run into too many people that say it's hard to hit, um, but it is a requirement. So hit wherever you're at, and maybe it's not even a requirement, but I assume if you're searching this on a video that you're kind of curious what it is. Um, so I pulled up, I live in Washington State, and so I pulled up the, the Washington State Energy Code, just kind of has a picture in it and a little bit of details. Uh, wherever you're at, uh, whatever state you're in, I'm sure they'd have some information on it as well, uh, but I wanted to show it to you here. So this right here is what a blower door test kit looks like. So here's the fan, you know, they've closed off the door, and here's all uh, kind of the, the testing uh, electronics for it. And you can see in here, so this is uh, 2012 Washington State Energy Code. Um, like I said, this is what the system looks like. It's pretty simple. And then here they're telling you how to conduct the test, you know, close all your windows and doors, stove doors, dampers, um, make sure all your plumbing traps are filled with water. If your plumbing traps are empty, uh, you can get air sucking through your sewer pipe. You know, it, it, it pulls from anywhere it can pull from. Um, seal exterior openings, turn off heating and cooling systems. So if your heating and cooling systems on, you know, that could be a bad deal because it could mess up all of your, um, your testing, uh, information. Uh, let's see here. It says install the blower door and exterior door. And then here it gets into kind of specifics on Pascal's and all kinds of stuff like that. In a nutshell though, it's air changes per hour is kind of the, the terminology. And it's just a matter of finding out what your requirement is and making sure that your test proves that you're under that. So um, that's kind of a quick rundown on blower door tests, what to think about, and uh, just kind of what to know when it comes to them. Again, they're also called an air leakage test. So if you've heard that term, uh, they're kind of interchangeable. And uh, usually there's like third party people out there that do these tests. You hire them, they'll come out, set it all up and do the test for you. Sometimes, um, at least in our area, we've had HVAC contractors do them, and we've also had uh, insulation contractors do them, because um, insulators have all that foam and caulk, and they have the ways to kind of make sure everything's clean and tight, because you know when they do the insulation in your house, their job is to insulate it. So um, sometimes they've got the equipment, like I said, HVAC guys will have the equipment, and um, and so you could contact one of them if you don't know where to go, and maybe they can at least push you in the right direction. So hopefully that helps you out. My name's Ben with Building Code Tips. And, uh, you know, by all means, hit the like button if this helps you out. I appreciate the support. And uh, hit subscribe for more videos. And, uh, you know, and then also buildingcodetips.com. I've got all kinds of guides and blog information in there. And it, it's uh, basically for do-it-yourselfers and homeowners that are kind of trying to do their own projects. It's, uh, you know, I've built it all for you guys. So if, if you're interested in something like that, then, you know, check it out. Hopefully it'll help you out. Mm -hmm.